six of their last seven during this mm. run. Curry, oh my goodness, what a finish. Steph attacking again. Steph, one. the field goal and the foul, and Curry to the line. Oh, Steph Curry, what a beautiful finish. Uh. In today's video, I'm taking my Steph Curry build with 95 strength to every small guard's worst nightmare, the 1v1 court. The Warriors pulled through Game 7 versus the Kings with Steph Curry going for 50 points. A lot of people were doubting the Warriors this series as the Kings took an early 2-0 lead, but as a fan of basketball, I enjoy a well thought out series. Now this is far from the best to build in 2K23, but it certainly is a lot of fun. This was one of the first builds I made at the very beginning of the year when layups were low key broken. This build is almost spot on to Curry except of course, the Hall of Fame Bully Badge. I thought this badge would be OP, but for me, this badge decides to work at the most random times. Alright, let's play a few games. This year the ones court is a small guard's worst nightmare, mostly because of how there are so many different shot timings. You give up the ball once and you might never see it again. First game, we got a sweaty matchup, so it's time to lock in. And of course, the first play, Buddy just runs by me for the dunk. I try to bait him into shooting, but I baited myself and Buddy drives by for another dunk. Buddy spins back and then pulls back and shoots. Fortunately for me, he missed wide open and we finally get the ball. I'm trying out the Steph Curry size of escape and just spamming it just to get a feel for it. I drive and I try to activate Bully, but I shoot up by accident and I don't even know how that went in. I left right a few times and pull it back for the big green A. Now I remember why I stopped playing on a small guard this year. The different shot timings is just too much for me. When you go from a 6'9 to a small guard, you have to be super locked in because it's very easy to miss even though you have a high 3. Shout out to everyone that made them small guard this year because it's definitely not easy to consistently play on. Buddy sparks a 3 and now has takeover. Things aren't looking good. Buddy is so comp that he's spamming all these moves on a small guard but is getting nowhere. He eventually decides to take me to the paint but I get saved by the shot clock. Big clamps baby. I got the ball and I'm gonna give him a taste of his own medicine. I drive by for the lay. I took a page from Buddy's playbook and spin back and drain the shot. I try to fade, but he gets a great contest. He grabs the board, he clears it, he tries to sauce up, but missed with sharp take again. Buddy! I grab the board, walk it back for the big green A. Steph has a nice layup package, I curry slide and lay it past my opponent. This dude has absolutely no stick on defense, I shake him bake in the corner and fly past him for the lay. Next possession, I do the exact same move and he bites hard. I decide to drive middle and then I go back to my left for the biggest step back. Buddy tries to jump at me but it's too little, too late. We had to overcome some adversity for this dub. I checked out his player card and he really has an 84 win percentage with over 4k games played. Sheesh. Alright next game and I'm not taking this guy for granted. It don't matter what overall he is, I gotta play my game. First play buddy shoots a brick but of course the board goes back to him and he scores with me in front of him. And here we go again, buddy drives and I get no contest on his layup. And again we are down 6-0. But just like the Warriors, we aren't going down without a fight. I get the stop in the paint finally and I spam the curry escape and eventually slide by for the lay. I try to force a bully animation and it didn't work. Buddy gets the ball back and shoots another brick. I try to pull it back for the open shot and I missed. I'm telling you, it's hard to be consistent when you play on a big build for the most of the time. But we get the stop again and I shoot a floater over him. I love the floater and Curry's layup package.
body really thinks I'm 50, so I had to spark up. I curry slide and then drive to my left, but shoot a scuffed shot. Luckily, the board bounces my way for once, and I speed by for the lay. I drive to my right and finesse another lay with my opponent trying to chase me down. Like I said, a lot of people are tough to guard, but they have a hard time guarding me. I shake and bake to a wide open step back. I try to fade from Narnia and I missed. Buddy gets the board, but I blitz and get the ball back. Then I shoot again from Narnia and this time I make it. And to take us home, I tried another floater, but he jumps at it and gets a contest. Buddy tries to bully me in the paint, but I get a couple of stops and grab the board. Buddy plays me way too high and I'm too quick for him, so I drive by for the lay. Goodbye. I hope you enjoyed this video. Smash that like button and if you're new, subscribe. Check out this video where I played in the hardest 2v2 tournament in 2K23. I stream on Twitch, YouTube, and TikTok. Links will be in the bio. Much love and board man out.